Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ivan Zujek from Webwash and today we'll look at how to set up a page with infinite scrolling using the Views Infinite Scroll module. If you want to learn more about Drupal, check out our website at webwash.net or follow us on Twitter at webwashnet. What is infinite scrolling? An infinite scroller automatically paginates through content instead of a user having to click on a next link or having to go to the next page. It utilizes JavaScript to detect when you have scrolled to the bottom of the page and loads in more content. The Views Infinite Scroll module is a pagination plugin for Views. Installing the module is fairly straightforward, just download and enable. The module, however, does require a jQuery plugin called AutoPager. Just copy the plugin into a JS directory within the module, or if you have the libraries module installed, add the plugin within the libraries directory in a folder called AutoPager. For this demonstration, I've copied the jQuery plugin into a JS directory within the module. Now, all we need to do is enable the module. So go to Modules, and of course, make sure you have Views and Views UI module installed. With everything set up and installed, let's go ahead and create a view. I'm using the Devel Generate module, which ships with Devel module to generate test data. If you need test data, just download the Devel module and use Devel Generate to create content. Let's go ahead and create a view. Go to Structure and Views, and click on Add New View. Enter in a view name, let's call it Test Pager, and then click on Continue and Edit. First, save the view and let's look at the current pagination. Let's go to our test view page. This is what the normal pagination looks like. You have the standard next link and links to the other pages. Now let's go back and edit the view. Now all we need to do is click on full within the pager area, select infinite scroll, and click on apply. Let's just keep the default settings for now and click on apply again. Then save the view and let's test it out. Go back to our test view. As you can see, if you scroll to the bottom, more content gets loaded in. However, there is one thing to think about. If you have a lot of content, your users may never get to the bottom of your website. If you add links to your footer area, they might not get to the links because more content is being added. Just something to think about. Let's go back to our view. I want to show you a few settings. Click on the second infinite scroll. Scroll and check the expose items per page checkbox. Then click on apply and save the view. Let's go to our test page and refresh the page. Now the user will be able to select how many items will be loaded each time they scroll to the bottom of the page. That's all for today. I hope you have learned something new. And if you have a question, please leave a comment.